Before Gina started dating my dad, we were close friends. Yes. <laughs> We literally did everything together. We went to bars. She came to my house, I would go to her house. We went to family events. Gina and I would even take trips together. We went on a vacation for my birthday. She was the biggest boohoo crier I've ever met. She would always call me crying about her problems. I introduced Gina to my father at a New Year's Eve party at his house. As soon as she walked in the door, she definitely saw dollar signs. She asked for a tour. She kept complimenting his house, saying how nice it was, and she just kept going on about it. Four to five months, the day after that, I found out through someone else that they were dating. My heart just sank to my stomach. I was like, are you kidding me? Gina is the laziest, money-hungry person I've ever met. Gina got into this relationship to build herself a better life. She's a gold digger, living the good life on my dad's money. I finished cosmetology school. I'm licensed. I'm working in salon. I'm making my own money. She is always posting pictures of them going out on vacation. Miami, New York, Mexico, the Versace mansion. My dad is constantly trying to impress her. It's really annoying. My dad is being very naive about this relationship. Gina is only in this for the money, but I don't think my dad sees that. He needs to wake up a lot, a lot. Well, Joni says she felt so betrayed by Gina and her father that she took her story to TikTok. Story time. So me and this girl became friends, and next thing I know, her and my dad's behind my back. Because I was pissed off about the relationship that Gina and my dad had, I made a TikTok video. She's 22, he's 55. Then the stupid bitch gets pregnant by my dad. The video had pictures in the background of them going on vacation and going on different trips. Within like five hours, it had over 800,000 views. She didn't really have that many friends, so I kind of like took her in. This is her right here holding onto my leg like the fiend she is looking for another handout. I pretty much said everything that happened. I said how we were friends, how she met my family, and then how I brought her in, and next thing I know, they started behind my back. Everything that's said in this video is completely exaggerated. It's not true that she was my only friend. I wasn't desperate. I wasn't a desperate single mother seeking a sugar daddy. That's not true. It's 100% false. I wanted people to see the type of person she is. She's a gold digger, and she's not the friend that I thought she was. OK, Joni, so this whole thing was a shock to you, right? Yes. So what is your real objection? Is your objection? that this is a friend that betrayed you is your objection that your dad is getting played and exploited? What's, where's the rub? It's all of it. All of the uh, above? All of it. Gina says you're exaggerating how close your friendship was, that it just makes a better story when you say, my best friend slept with my dad when y'all were really just drinking buddies? If it was, if we weren't really that close of friends, why'd they have to hide it from me? Yeah, and you confided in each other, right? And you confided things in her about your dad because you had frustrations with him before her. And what were they? We just never really, like, we butted heads a lot. We butted heads a lot. So, like, growing up, we didn't really, like, get along. What do you say to yourself when you learn about this? That, because it kind of sounds like, you know, Joni's dad's a creeper. I, it, yeah, it does sound creepy. If he wanted younger girls, he could have younger girls that aren't like near me or around me or that I know. Yeah, why does it have to be your friends? Yeah, that's I don't understand that. That's insensitive. Everyone needs to mind their own business. It's David and I's relationship. I don't wake up and think about these people every morning, so why are they thinking about me? Joni is making these assumptions that I'm using her father for money, and it really does piss me off. His money is not why I want to be with him. Our relationship, it's healthy, it's fun. We just went to Tulum, Mexico, and then we go to New York, and then we've been to Disney. We're always on the go doing something out of our home state. We are in a steady, committed relationship, 100%. David and I have talked about marriage, but it's not a priority right now. I'm in the process of moving in with David. I'm at his house 98% of the time. We have a child together, so it's obviously something very serious. Then the stupid bitch 
gets pregnant by my dad. Because of Joni posting the video, I received so much hateful messages. I had people calling me a money-hungry whore, saying how could you sleep with your friend's dad, and calling my child that David and I have together really disgusting names. I even had people who I didn't even know message me telling me they were gonna come find me and whip my ass. It was extremely bizarre. I'm just really tired of people making assumptions about our relationship because Joni exaggerated a story. I really do care for David. It's been a rewarding experience. So bottom line, his relationship is real. Joni needs to get through her head that her father is a grown man and he can make his own life decisions. Well, Gina, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You say she just needs to get it through her head that you guys are adults and this is just what you decided to do and that's just not for her to dictate. So this whole situation is very hard. Like, it's extremely hard to explain to anybody. I know people will judge me. They're gonna be like, oh, you're sick, you're dating your friend's dad. So I don't even tell people how I met David. I just want everyone to know, like, I hope you guys aren't here to judge me and you could really understand and watch it from my perspective. Once people are adults, they can do what they want to do Absolutely. so long as it's legal mm -hmm. and not infringing on other people's rights. Uh, if there was nothing wrong with it, why did you hide it? So I told David, I told him, I was like, I'm going to tell Joni. And he's like, do not do that. He's like, I'm her father. I will tell her when the time is right. So David did plan on telling her. It just wasn't at the right time. He didn't tell her fast enough because she found out. Five months. No, it was not five months. I, I've known her for five months. We were drinking buddies. That's what it was. Didn't y'all know each other for like- We literally just said that we were friends. I'm like, sorry? We were, it's you friends, yeah, so. it is friends. It is friends. Didn't y'all know each other for like three years? Oh, I've known her for, <laughs> no, like a, I've known of her. I've known her for like a year. I'm 100% fearful of Joni because of what she's done to me and other people. Joni went ballistic when she found out about David and I's relationship. After I found out my dad was dating Gina, I went over to the house. She came in with just her underwear, a crop top, and gets irate. She was clearly high as a kite. And I said, are you really about to date her? And he said, yeah. And then I looked at her and she just smirked at me. She just disrespected the shit out of me. Next thing I know, I have her fist touching the side of me. She struck me in the face. I was like, what the hell just happened? I quickly jumped up and grabbed her by the arms, and I said, you are not going to do this in my house. I walked her out to the door, and I said, do not come back. I wanted to get a restraining order, but because of David wanting to fix his relationship with his daughter, he figured a restraining order wasn't a good idea. Joni's made my life a living hell just because of her trying to always look for me and my location and, you know, the constant threats on social media. It just never ends. I can't even live my life without fearing that she's gonna, like, show up to my job and hurt me. I avoid downtown, really, because I know she hangs out there. Certain bars, restaurants. After two years of being in a relationship with her father, Joni is still messaging me threats, calling me stupid, calling me a whore, just talking bad about me. It's extremely unnecessary. I should feel safe in my relationship. Have you been on a vindictive mission? No, sir. You did put up a TikTok video that got like 800,000 views, I mean, it's a lot of people with you negatively messaging, right? And did you punch her in the face? Oh my God, what a lie. That's... You, you didn't punch her in the face? No. Did she punch she you in the face? She punched me in the face, and then she pushed me at the hair show in front of my classmate and called me a stupid bitch. Did You're you lying her at right the now. hair show? Are you afraid to Acknowledge that because you've got some criminal charges pending? Yes, sir. Hypothetically, if you ran into her at a hair show, would you be likely to want to push her? Hypothetically, yes. Yeah. Would you hypothetically want to punch her if you ran into her? Hypothetically, wouldn't anyone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got you. You've been talking about her being aggressive and punching you and yes. all of that sort of thing. Weren't you arrested for battery against David's? Yes. 
and his second ex-wife and spent two days in jail? Yeah, okay, so what happened was in the state of Florida. Well, is that yes or yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. But it was over, it wasn't physical, it was more over me throwing a red plastic cup. I it was initiator in the state of Florida, someone has to go to jail. And since I initiated something by throwing a cup, it was a charge. But it wasn't anything like physical where like, I had a black eye and David had a black eye. It was just over a plastic cup. <laughs> well, never boring. Uh, so David is, David is here. Uh, he admits he probably should have told his daughter Joni that he was dating an acquaintance of hers. He doesn't refer to it as a good friend, just an acquaintance, but says what is done is done and now it's time to move forward. Joni says it's not just her father dating Gina that upsets her, it's also the lifestyle her father has been living since her parents divorced. After my dad and my mom got a divorce, my dad started spending a lot of money on girls and trips. He would fly to a bunch of different cities and he would take multiple girls with him. He has girls in different area codes. My dad likes to date younger women, young Hispanic foreign girls. I'm like 22, 26 years old. I've dated younger women, but when there's a connection between a man and woman, the age shouldn't matter. I live an active lifestyle. I like to go mountain bike riding, scuba diving, hiking, and traveling. And dating Gina has allowed me to continue to be active. <laughs> uh, Gina and I have a great relationship, even though there is an age gap. We both like to travel. You ready to go to uh, Belize? Mm -hmm. We've uh, been to concerts together, Ariana Grande, Bad Bunny. We went to J-Lo concert together. Gina is vibrant and outgoing. Gina's also not uptight about me having friends that are of the opposite sex. Yeah, my dad has girls around him all the time. For my brother's 21st birthday, they went to Vegas, and my dad was literally flying girls in to hang out. I just don't like it, especially them like being my age. I had heard rumors that David was hitting on some of the other girls that we played softball with, but I didn't ever think that I would be one of those girls that he would hit on because he was like a second dad to me. He was never super blunt about it. He would text me and ask me if like how I was doing. And he'd be like, well, can I book you a massage and blah, 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 which was kind of off. So no, I didn't go on a date with her and I didn't. Did you try? I, I asked her one, one day if we should go on a date and she declined and so I never tried again. Yeah. Is there a boundary in there where you know this is awkward for my daughter, this makes her feel uncomfortable, and so there's a boundary here where I'm just not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna play around in, in this arena here. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna yeah. keep it private, I'm gonna keep it away from her, just out of respect for not yeah. her not feeling awkward. You have the right to do it, you're an adult, you, right. you can do what you want, but I'm just asking as a dad, yeah. does is there a boundary there that says this this puts her in an uncomfortable position? Yes, I agree, there, there should be a boundary there to, to not date her friends or... But you, you see that now, but you yeah. didn't see it then? Well, well, I did see it then, but it, but uh, I know at the moment, Courtney was, was single, and she did mention that she was single, and I was single at the time, too. Yeah. And then had, you took another softball friend to Mexico with Gina. Yeah, yeah, we did. So we're up now to four or five. But we weren't on a date, though. You just went to Mexico together. Yeah, yeah it, but, was, it was her birthday. It was her birthday, but she had friends out there already. It's about boundaries. You know? Absolutely, I it's agree. It's about boundaries. I, it's not a matter of how you got there. So, it's, it's about her looking at pictures of you with her friends yeah. somewhere else. What do you want with your dad? I would like a relationship or something along those lines. So would I, Joni. Do you but I also have, have I also want to continue living my life with romantically with somebody I'm with. I don't want to get But does it way of you're not does it have to be with people that like I, just, I if know. If somebody's going to live with me and I and that we go have behind a kid my together, back, someone that would go behind my back. Dr. Phil, I was like, okay, I'm going to tell her, but I got to make sure that this is actually a relationship. You don't need your daughter's permission to do what you want to do. You're a grown man. You've worked very hard to get where you are, and kids don't get to tell their parents what to do. As the dad, you have to recognize and be sensitive to boundaries and how those things affect your children. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.